What the hell is this? I'm just not hearing about this. Y'all know I'm uh, out here shooting a movie and one of y'all sent this to me. All right, let me find out what's going on here. So it says here, a five-year-old boy was shot dead at point-blank range by a neighbor who was 25 years old as he rides his bike in, in his own front yard in front of his two sisters that are eight and seven. Are you serious? Let me see this story here. It says here, North Carolina police have charged a neighbor with the murder of a five-year-old boy who was riding his bike in his own yard when he was shot at point blank range on Sunday evening. Darius Sessoms, 25, was taken into custody by Wilson police around 24 hours after he allegedly approached Cannon Hennett in front of the young boy's father's house at 5.30 p.m. and shot him in the head. What the f And it's seven-year-old and eight-year-old sisters witnessed the killing. Oh my God. Sessons lived next door to the family and the killing is not believed to be random. Neighbors claim he had dinner with the Hennets. He had dinner with Hennets father, Austin, on Friday and had been over the house earlier on Sunday. Was he just fucking mentally disturbed? Is this payback? Is there some, something going on that we don't know about? The motive for killing for the killing is still under investigation. But a GoFundMe has been established by a family member. Says the young boy rode into Sesame's yard. He rode into say he's a cute kid too, man. Sunday, August 19th, a sweet soul named Cannon Hennett was taken from this world over a senseless act. <sighs> what the hell is going on here? The young boy was set to start kindergarten on Monday and had just learned to write his name. What the hell is going on here? It says here, the Hennett family said they have known the, subs the suspect for years and did not believe he could be capable of murder. He used to play together, we used to play together, and I th never thought he'd kill someone. A mother now has to lay her son to rest. She should never have to do this. He'll never be forgotten. Police were called to the scene on Archer's Road at around 5.30 p.m. Sunday where Hennett was found with a gunshot wound. Emergency responders tried to save him and he was taken to the Wilson Medical Center but later died. Sessoms was immediately identified as the suspect. He fled the scene in a black 2019 Toyota Corolla and was later located by authorities. Police charged him with first degree murder on Monday. And he is being held with no bond. Of course not. He made his first 10 minute court appearance virtually. The, the probable cause hearing was set for August 25th. According to the Wilson Times, Sessoms was previously convicted of felony larceny of firearms in Wilson County. What the hell is going on here, man? I, 
This is crazy. Put this sick son of a bitch under the damn jail. I actually deserves the, the death penalty. This is some sick shit, man. I, I can't believe this, man. I need to find out more info about this. Um, but from what I understand, like, people sent me a bunch of stuff, and even the Hodge twins spoke about it. Maybe I'll check out their video. Maybe I can get some more info on this. You know what I mean? But this is wild. This is sick. You want my opinion on it, now you got it. I'll do more videos if I get more info.